Beneath the waves of the Pacific lies a place so alien, it feels more like another planet than our own. The Mariana Trench. Almost seven miles deep, it is the single deepest scar in Earth's crust. A world without sunlight, without warmth, and under pressures so crushing they could flatten steel like paper. For decades, scientists believed this abyss was silent, empty, a dead zone at the bottom of the ocean. But then came a discovery, one that proved the trench is anything but lifeless. A discovery that revealed this place is not silent, but filled with voices, not unchanging, but restless, and perhaps not just a natural wonder, but a battlefield shaping the future of nations. So what exactly was uncovered in the Mariana Trench? Why does it matter not only to scientists, but to geopolitics, to technology, even to the safety of billions of people? Over the next few minutes, we'll dive into the trench itself. We'll follow the scientists who brought back the first recordings from the abyss. We'll descend with the submarines that touched the ocean's deepest floor, and we'll uncover how this discovery is already reshaping the balance of power across the Pacific. Because when you realize the abyss is not empty, you begin to see why this discovery could change everything. For centuries, the Mariana Trench was treated as a mystery too deep to solve. Sailors described it as an endless pit, a place where nothing could possibly survive. Even scientists once believed it was too dark too cold and too hostile for life. In their minds, the trench was nothing more than a graveyard at the bottom of the sea. But in 2015, something remarkable changed that idea forever. A team from NOAA, the United States National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, lowered a hydrophone into the Challenger Deep, the very bottom of the trench. It was a microphone designed to capture sound in a place humans could not survive. What it revealed stunned the scientific world. The abyss was not silent at all. It was alive with noise. The hydrophone recorded the rumble of earthquakes traveling through the seabed. It picked up the calls of whales echoing from miles away. It even captured the roar of a typhoon passing overhead. Its energy pushed all the way down into the ocean's deepest chamber. Suddenly, the idea of a silent, lifeless trench collapsed. The discovery proved that sound could travel across impossible depths, and that the trench was connected to the rhythms of the surface world in ways no one had expected. And this was just the beginning, because if the trench was not silent, what else might be hidden in its depths? While NOAA was proving the abyss was not silent, another race was unfolding. It was no longer just about listening to the trench. It was about reaching it. For decades, only a handful of explorers had ever touched the bottom. In 1960, the Trieste Bathyscaphe carried Jacques Picard and Don Walsh into the Challenger Deep. It was a daring feat, but one that could not be repeated easily. Technology stalled, and for nearly 50 years, the deepest point on Earth was out of human reach. Then, in 2012, filmmaker James Cameron shocked the world with his solo dive in the Deep Sea Challenger, proving the trench could be visited again. But the true breakthrough came eight years later. In 2020, China's Fenduzhe, known as the Striver, descended into the Challenger Deep, carrying a crew of three. It reached a depth of 10,909 meters, making China only the third nation to send humans to the deepest place on Earth. And this time, it was not a one-off stunt. Fenduja was built for repeat missions, capable of going down again and again. This changed everything, because once you can access the trench reliably, you can do more than explore. You can sample strange new forms of life. You can study the chemistry of the Hadal zone. You can even inspect and monitor the seafloor itself, where critical cables and potential resources lie. Access meant influence, and influence in a place as strategically important as the Western Pacific meant power. What began as a scientific milestone 
quickly turned into something bigger. The question was no longer, can we reach the trench? It became, what will we do now that we can? The Mariana Trench is more than a geological wonder. It sits in one of the most strategically important corners of the Pacific, near Guam, a hub for American military operations and a critical junction for undersea communication cables. These cables are the arteries of the modern world. Almost all international internet traffic flows through them, carrying everything from financial transactions to military intelligence. And several of these lines either pass close to the Marianas or are being routed directly through the region. That changes the trench from a scientific curiosity into a geopolitical choke point. Because whoever can reach, inspect, and potentially control the seafloor here holds enormous leverage, the power to safeguard the cables or to cut them, the ability to monitor what lies beneath or to keep it hidden. This is why manned submersibles like Fendoge and advanced remotely operated vehicles matter far beyond science. They are tools of influence in an era where information is as valuable as territory. But here's the deeper truth. The trench is no longer just about what we discover. It's about what those discoveries allow us to do. And that's why this story isn't slowing down. It's only getting more urgent. If you're finding this journey eye-opening so far, this is just the surface of what's happening under the waves. Take a moment to subscribe so you don't miss the next dive into the hidden frontiers of our planet. Because what comes next goes beyond geopolitics. It takes us into the very fabric of life itself. For decades, scientists assumed nothing could endure the crushing pressure of the trench. 11 kilometers down, the weight of the ocean is more than 1,000 times the pressure at the surface. By that logic, life should not exist. Yet when researchers sent down deep diving landers, they discovered something astonishing. Strange, translucent amphipods crawling across the seafloor, microbes thriving in sediments laced with heavy metals, even entire microbial ecosystems clinging to bare rock, feeding not on sunlight, but on chemical reactions deep within the earth. These organisms are unlike anything on the surface. Their enzymes are built to survive conditions that would tear ordinary cells apart. Some have already shown potential for breaking down plastics or for use in medical treatments that require extreme stability. In other words, the trench could hold the keys to solving problems on land. And the discoveries go further. By studying life at such depths, scientists gain clues about how life might exist on other worlds. If organisms can endure the darkness of the Challenger Deep, perhaps life could also survive beneath the icy crust of Europa or Enceladus. So the Mariana Trench is not only rewriting our understanding of Earth's biosphere, it is expanding our imagination of what life is capable of everywhere in the universe. But as with every discovery, there's another side to the story. Because if the trench is filled with life and sound, then it can also be filled with something else sensors networks, and ambitions that stretch far beyond science. Every discovery in the trench has two sides. On one hand, science promises new knowledge, medical breakthroughs, and a better understanding of our planet. On the other, the same tools that collect data for researchers can also serve as instruments of surveillance. Take hydrophones, for example. To scientists, they are sensitive microphones that record earthquakes, whale calls, and even the noise of passing storms. But the very same devices can track submarines moving silently through the Pacific. In an era of great power rivalry, that makes the trench more than a natural wonder. It makes it a potential battlefield. China has invested heavily in networks of underwater sensors, often described as part of an underwater Great Wall. Officially, these systems study ocean currents and marine ecosystems. Unofficially, many analysts believe they are also designed to map how sound travels underwater, revealing where submarines can hide and where they cannot. And China is not alone. The United States, Japan, and others have their own programs, 
laying acoustic arrays and deploying long endurance gliders. Each claims it is for science. Each knows it has military value. So the Mariana Trench becomes something more than a symbol of human curiosity. It becomes a chessboard where every sensor is both a research tool and a potential weapon, which leads to the most pressing question of all. If the trench is now alive with voices and instruments, what does this mean for the future of global power? Step back for a moment and look at the discoveries we have explored. First, the trench is not silent. It is filled with sound, a natural amplifier that connects the surface world to the deepest point on Earth. That alone transforms how we think about communication, surveillance, and even disaster warnings. Second, humans can now reach the bottom of the ocean again and again. China's Fendujie proved that full ocean depth exploration is no longer a once in a generation event. Access means sampling new life, studying the geology of the seafloor and inspecting the infrastructure that crisscrosses the Pacific. What was once unreachable is now within human hands. Third, we know that life thrives in the trench. Organisms adapted to crushing pressure and toxic conditions point toward breakthroughs in medicine, biotechnology, and even solutions to global waste. They also expand our understanding of life itself showing us that biology can endure in places once thought impossible. And finally, the trench is not just science. It is infrastructure. It is strategy. It is geopolitics. Cables running across the Pacific connect continents, and whoever can monitor them holds extraordinary influence. The trench has become more than a natural frontier. It is a lever of power. Taken together, these discoveries reshape more than our view of the deep ocean. They reshape how nations interact, how industries innovate, and how humanity prepares for the challenges of the future. The Mariana Trench is no longer a silent abyss. It is a stage where science, technology, and power collide. And the outcome of this collision could ripple across the entire world. The Mariana Trench has always represented the edge of the unknown. For centuries, it was just a blank spot on the map, a place of fear and imagination. But now, it is something else entirely. It is no longer hidden. It is no longer silent. It is a frontier alive with sound, with life, with human presence, and with political tension. The discoveries made here matter because they connect directly to us. When hydrophones in the trench record distant earthquakes, that data feeds into tsunami warning systems that protect millions of people on coastlines. When submersibles like Fenduje prove we can reach the deepest point repeatedly, they open doors to monitoring the cables that carry our daily communications, from emails to financial markets. And when scientists uncover organisms capable of surviving unimaginable pressure, they reveal tools that could help us solve problems on the surface, from pollution to medicine. At the same time, every scientific step is mirrored by a strategic one. Sensors that listen for whales can also listen for submarines. Vehicles that study geology can also inspect infrastructure. And nations that dive for knowledge also dive for influence. The Mariana Trench is no longer a mystery at the edge of the map. It is a stage on which the future is being written. The question is not what we have found, but how we will use it. Will it be a source of cooperation or conflict? Will it inspire us to protect the ocean or to exploit it? What is certain is this. The discoveries made in the deepest place on Earth will echo far beyond the trench itself. They could change everything. If you want to keep exploring the hidden frontiers of our planet, make sure to subscribe because the ocean still holds secrets and together we'll uncover them.